Yeah, you know what? But today, or this morning at least, Chris, it will be dry, and uh, my kids know One Direction. I know that for a fact. Me, on the other hand, I'm an old man. All right, outside right now, temperatures are quite mild. We're enjoying a dry morning throughout the tri-state area. The temperature is at 50 degrees. Winds are light out of the east at 7, and the humidity is up there. And you know what's up there as well? And I've been feeling it, and uh, Chris was talking about this earlier. The tree pollen is at moderate levels. Uh, this is from the ENT allergy here. But you can see the grass is ragweed, mold, weeds, low to none. So that is some good news, but we know that the mold and the ragweed and all those other pollens will be going up in time as the trees start to bud. Let's look at the temperature trend. Uh, double nickels on Monday, Tuesday 61 degrees. Today we're getting up to 63. Then we really go downhill with the mercury 48 and 43, respectively, by the end of the week. Satellite and radar picture all is basically high and dry. A few high clouds here and there. Otherwise, back to the west, you can see an area of low pressure and a lot of precipitation. That is going to work to the east in time, but it looks like the first half of today we're going to squeak out some dry weather. And the satellite and radar picture in our future cast and timestamp at 7 a.m. Verifies that basically partly of cloudy skies. We'll hopefully get to see some sunshine this morning, limited in spots, but by four o'clock, scattered showers in nature. And again, with that area of low pressure developing south and east of Cape May, New Jersey, more significant rainfall is possible later this evening through tonight, and it'll be coming in rounds or waves. The other uh, little ingredient here, cold air is going to get mixed in once this cold front passes through with this storm. So by tomorrow morning, that is right, you're seeing wet snow falling north and west of New York City. Let's not freak out. No bread and milk here, okay? Temperatures will be warm enough to support just uh, some, uh, let's say, just wet roadways. Maybe the isolated of uh, the Poconos and Catskills may get a quick coating. But other than that, that storm's out of here by your Thursday, let's say, midday. Sunshine increases later in the afternoon and the evening because the daylight hours continue to lengthen as we head toward summer. The bottom line today, rainfall through the storm by tomorrow morning between a half inch to an inch and a half of rain. Isolated flooding, some wet snow north and west of New York City. The forecast for today getting up to 63 degrees, a dry morning, some scattered showers by afternoon. And for tonight, double fours, showers, rain heavy at times, especially from the city on east. The wind switches to the northwest. And then by the morning hours, we still have areas of rain by the coast. Wet snow possible for a time inland, not a big deal. Friday, the big deal is the cold weather, 43 degrees, blustery winds. Saturday, Easter holiday weekend coming up and Passover continues. Temperatures will be in the mid-50s. Easter Sunday, getting up to 62 degrees. So the bonnets look to be dry, maybe a sprinkle to the morning. But other than that, temperatures will be well above average. So not a bad forecast for the holiday weekend. We just have to get through the next 12 to 48 hours. Back to you. Okay, John, thank okay. you.